Let's learn about the division, mitosis, the process by which the somatic cells are divided, three phases, G1, S, and G2 make up the interface, interface, makes up 90% of the cycle of cell division, the cell grows and copies its chromosomes to prepare. Aprophase chromatin fibers are coiled and become visible. Spindle fibers begin to form along with sister chromatids. The nuclear envelope dissolves in prometaphase along with connectocores being attached to microtubules move the chromosomes. Then line up in metaphase along the metaphase plate. Centrosomes begin to pull the chromatids in anaphase. Each chromatin then becomes a chromosome in its own right. The cell lengthens and each end has equal DNA now. Two daughter nuclei begin to form in the cell telophase. The chromosomes then become less condensed to read mitosis. Cytokinesis also occurs, the division of cytoplasm and organelles. The cleavage furrow pinches the cell, making two identical daughters. Meiosis, the process by which sex cells called gametes are produced. Like mitosis, but division occurs twice to make two poor daughter cells. The daughter cells are haploid and have half the DNA of the parent. Prophase 1, homologous chromosomes group together. Tetras allow for genetic variation to occur. Crossing over occurs at the chiasmata. Sister chromatids don't separate in anaphase one. Telophase produces two daughter cells, but then the cycle repeats. Except for there's no synthesis of new DNA, and each daughter cell is genetically unique. Reproduction is only able to occur because of gametes. Sexual reproduction involves two parents making offspring. This allows for even greater genetic diversity. Asexual reproduction creates clones that have the same DNA. This is a disadvantage because one weakness can't kill all offspring. However, its advantage is in that you never need a mate.